Hopetown on Elbow Key and its iconic lighthouse are world-renowned. But these days, this once thriving community, known for its scenery and picturesque landscape, is a hurricane recovery zone. Everywhere you look, there is destruction. There is massive erosion from the storm surge. Homes are without roofs, and boats litter the landscape. Despite the destruction all around, couples like Chris and Holly Thompson are among the many residents committed to rebuilding. You know, we've been hard at it. We've um, been getting a lot of outside donations and some help, and um, we're slowly getting organized on the ground. But the big thing that we really need is, of course, debris removal and some temporary power that would really lift the spirits of the people. We're, we're, we're pretty blessed here in Hopetown, you know? I mean, you look around at all the debris and the mass and the looks like chaos, but uh, in the month that I've been here, it looks 80% better to me. As with so many other communities, there is now a new reality for the people who live here. The Hopetown Harbor Lodge, famous for its cuisine and exquisite accommodations, is all but in ruin from the heavy storm surge and wind damage of Dorian. Pharrell Duncombe is a chef at Hopetown Lodge. Surviving, we got to thank the Americans a lot because they done a lot for Hopetown. Because I think if it was soon for them, and you'd just sit around and wait. I think you probably have been dead. Cause like I'm volunteering at the at the sailing club, and we serve about I don't know maybe about 600 food meals a day. Help has also come from residents in nearby Spanish wells, like Stefan Newbold. I mean, the look on people's faces was just like it was like they saw a ghost. You know, they weren't saw nobody, only helicopters flying over. But I got a lot of family. They're actually close friends, but I recognize them as family. And we came down for 12 days, helped out. Hopetown provides just a glimpse into the struggles faced by many in the Abaco Keys. The residents, second homeowners, and friends of the community are on their own in some cases. With so many critical issues on the mainland, these keys can easily become the forgotten communities. Just one more problem to add to the growing list of challenges left by Hurricane Dorian. Reporting for our news, I'm Jerome Sawyer.